All right, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'll let Martino do some of his own kind of um, introduction to himself, but um, this is Martino um, Rodriguez Gonzalez, um, and he's visiting us, and so um, we're excited to have him present to us about Spanish and Portuguese families with some Italian families as well. Yes. Um, so, you know, be attentive, um, and, um, you know, if you have questions or something, he'll kind of help you with that. Okay? Yeah. Great. Thanks. Okay. It's nice to be here. I will tell you a little bit about myself before I start the class. And I will ask you uh, be patient with my English because it's not my first language. I start to learn English with uh, 14 years old. So, I do my best, but OK. Then please, you can stop me and ask questions at any time you need. Also, if I say something in English that doesn't make sense for you, you can ask. I come from Spain. I live in Spain. Uh, I am Spanish. But I um, earn a postdoc. So I live for one year and a half in Portugal in Oporto, Oporto, as the Portuguese people say, which is the second bigger city in, por in Portugal at the north. Mm. And I come from a region in Spain at the northwest that is just uh, near to Portugal. So it's a country and a culture very, very familiar for me. And of course, Spain is. And Italy, I have some collaboration with some professors from Italy, family therapists. And also, I, I went to Italy a lot of times. And I have some friends, some Italian friends. So among the three countries is the one that I know less. But still, I, I, it is a culture and a country I know a lot. Hmm? I am a PhD and a 35 family therapist. I am in this area of uh, family and couple interventions. And <clears throat> now we are starting together with some professors of the School of Family Life and the School of Psychology and international research in emotionally focused couple therapy in Spanish speaking countries for trying to see if the, this model is different in these other countries, in, in which ways, OK? And currently, I am in the University of Navarra. And maybe you hear about Navarra for, uh, for something that happens there in July every year. Uh, these are uh, some uh, festival called San Fermines where the people run in front of the bulls with some uh, red uh, things and do crazy things. And we have some people from the States every year. More people from the States come to this festival. OK. Then we are going to talk about Spain, Italy, and uh, OK, and uh, Portugal, yeah? And when I thought about you, I know you come from the States, but I am aware that probably the States is a very big country, and not the, although there are a culture in common, it's not the same maybe Utah than Mississippi or Alaska or Maine, no? The same happened in Europe. Europe is uh, a region, but we have different languages that helps us to be aware of our differences. Um, and we, we can, for me as European, it's very clear uh, some of the differences. So I, I'm start explaining some of the characteristics of Italy, Spain, and Portugal, thinking myself as European, 
in comparison with other areas of Europe, Northern Europe, Central, how I can see where we are, where and, and how we are, how is our culture. So <clears throat> the North Europe, in comparison with South, South, Southern Europe, Italy, Spain, or even Greece, or other countries at the south are more family focused than the north. Hmm? Uh, more, less individualism, we can say also. Hmm? Um, it's more difficult for me to compare these three countries with the states. So later, I will ask you to do a similar exercise I am doing now. Hmm? Uh, so you can help me to understand these differences. Hmm? But if I think in Europe, these countries are more family focused. <clears throat> the house and the home, these two meanings, are more open in the South to others, friends, relatives. This means that if you come to Spain, and you are Italian, and we met in a, in a, in a summer camp, in an exchange program in my university, and you come to Spain, and I meet you one week in Italy in a, in a summer camp, probably if you come to Pamplona, I will invite you to come to my home. Hmm? This doesn't happen in the north. It's not a cultural rule. Of course, it's not mandatory. You can't, if you don't like that person, you don't invite to your home. Yeah, but it, the house and the home is more open. Hmm? Uh, in these countries, people meet a lot of times in, in the street, in the park, outside. Hmm? The climate, the, the weather is much better than in the north. So, we, we have a lot of activities all the year outdoors. Hmm? And I think this is why it's, the house is more open. Because uh, if you mm, invite to come in to someone in the north, and the uh, outside is under 15, it's very hard to say these people go out. <laughs> yeah? If you open the door, they enter, and this go and back is easier at the south for the climate and the culture also. Uh, and this probably uh, explain not all, but in part, this difference. And other differences I found is religion. Hmm? If this is a, all this is a generalization, yeah? We can go to one specific country and found this country is different, or of course this family doesn't feel the general background in this country, but they, they, generally speaking, Eastern European countries are more religious. This, all these countries, these countries live under the um, Soviet Union for a long time. And the Soviet, Soviet Union uh, um, um, exclude religion in the public uh, field. And now, probably for this law of the, what's the name of this in English? The, you know what, what I am talking about? Can you help me with this? Uh, when some societies and in a poll, Usually, at some moment, it goes to the other pole, yeah? Mm -hmm. the, the pendulum. Pendulum, yeah. We say in Spanish, in Spanish, la ley del pendulo. Yeah. So, Eastern European countries are more religions than religious than the West, and the South more than the North. Hmm? It's a generalization, but. And the economy, the same way. Religion and economy, the same way. The North countries are richer than the South, and the West 
is much richer, richer than the East. Mm -hmm. uh, there are differences between the countries, and we have, for example, Switzerland at the center, probably the richer country in Europe, or inside Italy, the difference uh, in religion and economics between the North, Milan, and Turin, and Venice, and the South is huge, very, very strong. Uh, this area of uh, Italy could be uh, poorer than the south of Spain and some regions in Portugal. And this area of Italy is richer than most of the areas of France. So there are big differences inside the countries. In Spain, the same happened. The north is richer than the south, but the differences are stronger in Italy, much stronger. Hmm? OK. Then I will show you a short video, very short, of a film. Maybe you, you know that film. It's the Swedish Theory of Love. Is familiar for you this film? No. This uh, film helps me to. I, we are not going to watch that film, but just uh, two minutes. And it talks about the Swedish uh, culture. And it's very. I take it because it shows me very clearly how we are. We are not this way like in Swedish, OK? Then we are going to kick off with, I hope, some, some provocation from Northern Europe. The Swedish theory of love. What does it say? It says that all of authentic human relationships have to be based on the fundamental independence between people. So if you look at the upper, you know, right hand corner, you'll see one little solitary country up there. You know, extreme, right? Which is the Sweden. A society of individuals. A society of individuals. A society of individuals. The Swedish theory of love. OK, then if I think about Swedish, Sweden, uh, and I think about Italy, Spain, and Portugal, and I could include also Greece, but I don't know very well Greece, so I'm going to keep out, OK? When I think about family values, less individualism, individualism I think about what happened when Someone in the family is sick. Hmm? What happened in Italy, Spain, and Portugal when someone in the family is sick? The daughter stay at home, try to help this person. If it's an adult, also. Depends on what kind of sickness and what kind of dependency he or she needs. But this is the cultural natural movement. This is what they expect to do. OK? And what happens when someone in the family has economic problems? The, cultural, the culture of these three countries will expect you to help this person, OK? Somehow. In the not. Um, with some limit, but try to help. Yeah, what happened? Uh, you need some help. This money for pay this 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 month for pay the bills or what happened? Hmm? If grandparents are retired 
and the money is not enough, what happened in these cultures? The siblings, the, the, their children that will be adults and they will have some jobs. Maybe they have four children and two of them have good jobs and the other two does, they don't. They will try to help together to these grandparents. Hmm? Maybe this means the grandparents will move to the house of some of these uh, sons or daughters. Hmm? This n not always means in Spain or Italy help, economic help, uh, a bank transfer. No. But maybe if you have uh, an economic problem, you can come to my home because it's bigger enough and then you save the, the, to pay the rent, okay? Or what happened with a young adult in the family needs support? Something like you. All the culture expect you help somehow. Mm -hmm. Or an adult in the family is at the hospital for a surgery. Cultural expectation is that you be with this person. Someone should be with this person at the hospital. So they make turns, and then from this time to this time, this person will be there, and then other person. Maybe the rules in some hospitals here doesn't allow to do that, but in Spain, Italy, or Portugal, they do. So when I think about Sweden, in Sweden, things are not this way. Not in, like in Italy, Spain, and Portugal. I don't know here. Later, I will ask you about that. Okay? And house and home are more open to others. This means, for example, that children or teenagers spend some time together playing doing sports or whatever, outdoors, but at some point also at home. And then they come to the home or of some friends and the others go. The parents ask, is my son there? Yes, it's, it's doing well. Yes, check, especially if we are talking about children. But uh, if, and the people can meet either at home or in other places, but it's common, this movement. OK, think about USA and Italy, Spain, and Portugal. Differences, generally speaking. Think about this question. How many times a year a man or a woman, an adult, go visit his, her parents? Everyone think one moment about this question as a medium, as an average, generally speaking. Uh, and I will think about an average in these three countries for, to answer this question, OK? I already have the, my, my medium, but I want you answer first. So just a number. Mm, maybe 12 to 24? 12 to 24. If they live in the same area? If they live in the same ar area, OK. Uh, I was thinking if they did not live in the same area, so I was guessing like maybe twice a year. Not in the, you can choose and explain. Not in the same area, yeah. twice, mm -hmm. OK? Same area, 12 to 24. Can I was thinking the same, like two or three times? Two. Mm -hmm. Also not the same area, also two or three times. Two. I was thinking one to two times. One, two. Across the country. Okay. Yeah, one or two times. One or two? I was thinking two to three. Mm -hmm. Two, two. Well, a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Two, three. Two, three. Two, three. Mm -hmm. three. I was thinking 12. 12. In the same area or different? Yeah, I was thinking the same area. Same area. I would say two to three. Okay. Then I will say, if you live in the same area, uh, the same area in Spain, Italy, or Portugal, 
we need to clarify the same city or the same area. So the same area could mean you live one to two drive uh, hours driving, one to two, same area. Mm -hmm. If it, it is the case, probably you visit your family in these countries twice per month. Mm -hmm. A medium, I am talking about a medium. But it, if you live in the same city, you prob probably see your parents every week, more than one time per week, probably. Mm -hmm. But the huge change of mind will be if you don't live in the same area. If you live, for example, in Spain, uh, you live in Barcelona, who is here, okay? And your parents live in Galicia, in Santiago de Compostela, who is here, seven hours driving, no, seven, no. 10 hours driving, then you get a flight, one hour and a half, mm -hmm. and probably you go to see your parents five to eight times per year. Mm -hmm. And this in Spain is a long distance because it's one, one side to another. Uh, 10 hours is the maximum, even from the north to the south, 10 hours is you cross the country, yeah? Of course, some families mm, with, have bad relationships with, some people with, will have bad relationship with their parents. In this case, they will visit them three, four times per year. So uh, for the Spanish, Italian, and Portu Portuguese culture, this idea of uh, live in other part of the country and go to see your parents twice per year, seems like you have a very bad relationship with your, with your parents, probably. Uh, but this is not the case here, I'm sure. This is a different culture, and this here and there doesn't mean the same thing. Mm -hmm. This second question is also very interesting because most of the people in Spain live very near to their parents. In the same city, half an hour, one hour driving, not more. Most, the majority. I will say I don't have the statistics exactly, but I could say 80%. And the other 10% live two, three, four hours, and the other 10 is in other country or whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think here in the States, the country is bigger, yeah. But this idea of moving when the country is big and Europe is big, you can go now, we don't have borders, so I can go to Italy and to Switzerland and France and Poland and Germany straight, not border. I can think about moving to Germany. We have the, the problem of the language. I should know German, huh? and I, does, I don't know German. <laughs> uh -huh. But, uh, even, even if we speak the same language, I think the Spanish, Italian, and Portuguese people will try to keep in the same area where their, their parents live and the, their relatives and the family, okay? Here probably is most common uh, people move to a long distance from when they get a job. What do you think? It's, it's a common thing, it's a strange, it's, a, it's what the culture respects, you should move. What do you think? I know my brother, when he graduated from mm -hmm. college, I'm from Colorado, but uh -huh. the job he got was in Texas, so he just, that's where he went. Uh -huh. But then after a year or two, he moved back to Colorado. Okay. So he still tried to be close to family, mm -hmm. but it just depended on what job he could get. Yeah. 
the job is very important here, you should think the family, the all the list we have before. So probably here, if the if the job means you should move to another part of the of the country, this is what you should do. Uh, because if we check all these things, although if you have a very good relationship with your parents, this is not what the culture will give you back as the normal mm, way of doing the things. I, uh, doesn't, does this make sense? So you need to be independent, yeah? This doesn't need to mean you, I don't take care of you or mm, I, uh, it's important for me what you, how you are and where you are. But it's another kind of thing, another culture, OK? Um, and this was my last question here with the differences from Spain, Italy, and the USA. What doesn't happen when, what are your answers here? So I learn more about the US culture. What, what uh, generally speaking, Generally speaking, means in the US. Because here we are in Utah, in Provo, you are university students. This could not be the mainstream of these rules, family rules. But did you think, generally speaking, in the US? Please help me to learn more about the US. What? I think just thinking about that first question, when someone in my family is sick, yeah, um, we would like check in with them, but it's ultimately like an individual responsibility to just get better because we all have other responsibilities. We would never stay home from work because my sister is sick. Okay. Like maybe you suggested what would happen in Europe. Mm -hmm. um, in South Europe. In South yes. Europe. <laughs> Yeah, OK. And the uh, other person who can share something about the second? It's a very um, unspecific question, yes, but trying to give an example, share an example. I know that there's kind of a phrase that everybody says where they're like, don't borrow, borrow money from the family. Like that's a general rule in America that you shouldn't go to your family if you have financial problems because okay. it causes conflict. Okay. Good to know. Okay. You want to say something about oh, the second? I was going to say, I feel like I've seen a lot of family support when economic problems have happened. I, mm -hmm. My grandpa turned over a whole house that they owned to mm -hmm. my uncle, and mm -hmm. my grandpa also, like, gave a lot of money to my dad once and so i feel like i've seen a lot of it just as long as it's not like a we expect you to pay this back kind of a thing i feel like mm -hmm. that happens mm -hmm. so i guess depending on situation depending on situation but if if you are not if you are in an economic problem because you don't be in the past or in the last year you don't manage res with responsibility your economic area. There are some kind of rule that says, don't uh, get this trouble to your family. Something like that. Mm, some, sometimes here, OK. No, it's not the case in Italy, Spain, and Portugal. And of course, your parents can say, uh, it's your problem, <laughs> OK? Uh, no, I can't help you. Or maybe I can help. I want to help you, but I can't. But open this thing is not a uh, broken a rule in, in this culture, yeah? I think the money, the way we manage money and we talk about money, money is different. Hmm? Uh, mm, here, probably, 
everything is more clear about money. Hmm? And also more less um, less um, warm in some somehow, less uh, uh, flexible. Hmm? Uh, I think both both uh, approaches have some advantages and disadvantages. Some situations where it is hard to be in this culture and other situations where it is hard to be in the other culture. Because in the other culture, in Italy, Spain, and Portugal, at some point, you can feel like everybody is asking too much. Mm -hmm. But everybody asks too much to everybody. <laughs> so somehow they help each other. No? Um, OK. I found a web page. You can enter a, a country, and this web page compare this country with the US and show some numbers. For example, if you live in these countries, Portugal, Spain, and Italy, you will earn less money than in the US. And you will be more likely to be unemployed than in the US. But uh, a lot of things are cheaper. <laughs> Our, um, the probabilities of to be in prison, prison are much lower, and things like that. Hmm? So uh, this, this slide helps me to talk about, um, I think culture uh, have an impact in, has an impact in individuals in the way they, they live. But on, along the years, also change the society in some rules. Yeah? So for example, in Spain, the healthcare system in Spain and in Italy and Portugal, the healthcare system is totally different than what you have here. Mm? And this is linked with the culture, but it creates this system along the years for this idea of we need to uh, create a space where everybody can go and be and receive health assistance. And if a North American, someone from the States goes there to a hospital and become a manager of a hospital in Spain, we'll find some situations that it will make this person feel very, very, very um, angry because are very um, um, our um, medical doctors and patients that use this system in a way costs a lot of money to everybody. And they don't need this system. They just go and are afraid about their, their own health, but the, the doctor uh, thinks this person is OK. But as this person don't pay for this service because it's inside of, of all the taxes. There is not a difference in the, in the salary for this person to go 10 times per month to the hospital or one time in 10 years. Doesn't mm, have an impact in their own economic uh, situation. Mm -hmm. So this person will find some very um, bad situations, but, but people that use this very negatively. And we'll find some other people uh, that use this very well. And we'll think, uh, hopefully, you have this kind of system here that helps these people, that needs this help. And in the States, they will die. They will ca cannot enter in this health system. OK? So each uh, cultural um, result in the society 
have some positive side and negative side. Depends how we see this uh, thing. OK. Mm, some things that people used to do in these countries. Some things that maybe will help you to take an idea of the culture in these countries. Families, generally speaking, families do a lot of things together. Mm? Reading, cleaning, cooking, shopping. Mm? They ha have lunch and or dinner together several times during the week. Uh, for example, I, I have dinner every day with my son. I have a son, seven years old. And not every day with my wife, because she's a doctor. And sometimes she works at the hour of the dinner. He's at, at the work. Mm -hmm. I have a, the same schedule, not the same exactly, but very uh, regular schedule. But she changed. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, this is not an exception in Spain or Italy. Have dinner with uh, all together in the table. And how, how much time? we use, or a family in these countries use for half dinner, Monday, Friday. Prepare the dinner, half dinner, 45 minutes, one hour, wash the dishes. OK, we talk. At the same time with dinner, I ask my son, how was your day at the school? How is this going? I. I talk to my son about my own day, because it's very important. This is not an interview. I'm not checking all the boxes with him. So I talk with him about my day. He knows something about my colleagues at the university. He went sometimes to the university. OK? But this is the most common way of life. Grandparents help with kids, and both parents tend to work. Uh, the relevance of the relationships with the extended family, I think, are uh, higher than here in these countries. As they live in the same area, this is easier. And this is a process of generations, yes? If we move to uh, Colorado from Utah or to um, Connecticut, uh, the extended family. Then we move again, or our children move again, and the extended family is not together. Mm -hmm. But in Spain, Italy, and Portugal, it's very easy. They live near. Mm -hmm. University students usually go to a university near their house near their parents' house. Option, the same city. If it's possible, the same city. But maybe you want to study something. It's not in your city. I want to study nursing. And uh, the university in my city or near my town uh, doesn't offer nursing. So I move to another that is one hour and a half. And they live Monday, Friday in that city for the classes and for everything. And what happened during my university time, the bachelor, every weekend, most probably, I go to my parents' house. Hmm? I'm not saying this is better or worse than the way it is here. I'm trying to move you to Spain and take an idea of how things are there. Yeah, <clears throat> Very important, in Spain, you, we don't have the same system as here for the university. So you take high school, and this is similar in Portugal and, it, and in Italy. You take the, all the process, and before university, if you want to go, you take an exam. I think you have something similar here, the, or something that is the GPI, this, this number, yeah? This uh, evaluation or this 
with this uh, exam, mm, with uh, the 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 number the 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 number you get in this exam is something from your high school, like half of the puntuation it comes from your notes from the, your marks in the high school, and the other half come from that that exam. Yeah, and you take a number. And this number is like a Q. So the first in the country with the first number, with the best mark, have all the seats in all the universities around the country for Qs. Probably it's going to choose something in their town. Because the, in Spain, we don't have these differences if you graduate from, from Harvard or you graduate from a university that don't, nobody knows in the country, that is in the countryside and is not a research university and blah, blah, blah. No. There you are a nursing with a university degree and nobody goes to see from which university you take these nursing courses. Yeah? In the interview, they want to see what you know to do. How are your skills? And if you are doing well, you enter. Hmm? So this change also the, the, the way these university students should choose the university in comparison with here, I, I guess. Hmm? OK? Um, people used to go outside and share some time in a cafeteria, a bar, a restaurant, whatever place, mm? even Monday, Friday. Not every day, but um, so when I go out from my university and I go through, I live 10 minutes, my, my house is 10 minutes from the university. So I go walking, and I go through some streets that are in a neighborhood in Spain. Mm -hmm. And it's a neighborhood uh, very close to the center. Mm -hmm. And then if, if I go, not for every street, but if I go through the street where we have more of these places, mm -hmm. At 5 p.m. or 7 p.m., when I go back to my home, these places I are crowded. Which days of the week? Every day of the week. All days of the week. People, older people, young people, some families. But if I think about other families I know, they don't go every day. No, they go at some point. Maybe uh, my wife. Uh, meet with a friend Tuesday at 5 in this cafeteria near our home. But the other day, they come home and talk at home because my wife needs to cook something for the next two days because she will be at the hospital or whatever. Yeah? But this, uh, the price of going out to these places in these countries is lower than here, except if you go to Madrid or Barcelona and Rome or Lisbon and you go to the streets where we don't go because the people who go is the people from the United States, from the UK, because they are in the, just for the tourist people. Yeah? In these streets, things are expensive. But if you live in that city, you know which, which is the street you don't need to go. Go to the other places, OK? Maybe it's the same here in somewhere or some cities with a lot of uh, tourists, OK? People used to help each other with little things which help to save money. Mm -hmm. This is, for example, I am at the university, 
okay? And I go, I'm going to uh, pick up my thumb at the school, and it's 3 p.m., and a colleague in the office, just uh, behind my office, uh, told me, tell me, um, I have my car in the garage because I need to repair something, and uh, probably my colleague knows where I live because we share this kind of things at some point. Hmm? Uh, so he asked me if I'm going to go with my car through this direction, if he can come with me, okay? And I can ask, answer two questions, two things, okay? I can say, yes, of course, tell me what time is good for you. I can move a little bit my schedule. I can go 10 minutes before, this works for you. And maybe it's near the garage, but I need to go five minutes more doing a, and I do. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I can also tell him, sorry, I am in a hurry, I need to uh, arrive on time, so I, I can't take you uh, to the garage, but if it, this way I'm going to take helps you, because takes you near, you can come. This uh, is useful for you, and then he can say, no, really, it's not. I'm going to ask to this other person. Okay, and this conversation is not a problem at all for, for him, for me. Uh, mm, of course, this inside the family is also a way of doing things. It's not a must, but you can do it. For example, my wife cook a lot of things, and then I uh, offer something to uh, another person, a colleague. You, you, you don't need to think I'm helping to save money to something that, is, that has an economic problem. No. No, it's not the case. I, I, I can. I can help others also in that way, and we do in Spain, Italy, and Portugal, but I'm talking about other things, yeah? If, if, uh, if we went to visit my parents, that now we went not a lot of times per year, because they live far, uh, but when we live half an hour, maybe my mom says when we live or take this and this because this way you don't need to cook tomorrow and or you don't need to go to the supermarket. Just take this and this, yeah? And they know we can pay the food and the supermarket. We don't have a problem with that, okay? Arrive on time means something more flexible than here. Mm -hmm. Not as in Mexico, probably, uh, but some, there are more, more, we don't live the time as the same way than you live here, yeah? So in my case, I am very, very punctual for, for being Spanish. Hmm? So the Spanish people call me the German man, <laughs> because inside Europe, we think the German people and the UK, the British, are very punctual, very on time. And Italian, Portuguese, Greece, Spanish, not on time, no? But not on time when I visit some countries as Mexico or Chile or Argentina, not on time in Spain means if I, I'm going to teach a class at 10, at the university, I should be there at 10, or 10 free, or 10 four, not more, okay? If I'm going to meet a friend in a cafeteria and I tell him, see you at 5 p.m., I can arrive at 5.10 and this is not news, or him, but not at 5.30. 
Okay, 5.30 is not uh, a good thing in Spain, okay? But in Chile, five or six is almost the same sometimes, <laughs> yeah? Uh, not in Spain, Italy, and Portugal, but more flexible than here, I think. Huh? Okay, uh, just mm, I have more information for sharing some, some things I can share about what kind of things I think could be different in a psychotherapy or family therapy process. But this is a more specific thing. Uh, and maybe you, you uh, want to ask me something, or, um, or disagree with something, or before I go on and continue the, mm -hmm. something that maybe when I explain, it takes, uh, Mm, provokes you a, uh, oh, I don't think this is something new for me. I, it's very different. I can't imagine uh, living that way or, or sounds strange for me or, or even, um, I don't like that. I don't like that. No, some, some uh, um, I don't find the word in English. Something that creates you a bad feeling. <laughs> okay, first. What was the last thing you knew? People are allowed to share more feelings in public? Like what ah, does yes. that look like? Yes, more feelings in public. Um, yeah, I have the, 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 it seems to me I don't live a long time in the States, but I live two months in Washington, D.C., and I come sometimes, and, and I met some people from the States in Spain, and they come from, for visiting us, and I think um, in, in the U.S. culture, um, if you are in a public space, uh, uh, you need to keep some forms more like you are not, for, for example, crying in a public space. I, I, I think you can cry, but uh, in Spain at some point, if someone is crying or if someone is showing, he or she is very, very enthusiastic about something or or very nervous, and and I can see this uh, in the table, two tables there in the restaurant, or or outside in the park, in a in a bank, in a bunch. Um, this is not uh, something that makes me feel embarrassing. It's something that maybe at some point. I will pay a little bit of attention for checking if something bad is happened and, uh, and I should do something about that, yeah? Because if, if we have a, a teenager, 17 years old, crying in the park with a friend, uh, and I stay there with my son, half an hour and he's crying, he's crying, and the friend doesn't, is not able to calm down, maybe at some point I will approach and ask something and try to check if, uh, or, or maybe not, depends on the context, yes? Uh, but I think here, uh, this will be more uh, highlight, more um, out of place. Not maybe out of place, but a little bit, no? Uh, as, as there are some kind of rule that, that say, um, 
if you have economic problems, don't get these troubles to your family, because this can create a, um, a negative situation, something incommodo, incommodo, which will be the word in English, incommodo, uncomfortable. Uh, the same with the emotions in the public space. Uh, it's my, it's my, my perception, yeah? Uh, even between these countries, when I come, go to Italy, I will say Portugal is here, Spain is here, Italy is here. In this thing of the feelings in the public space, sometimes I go to Italy and I feel a little bit uncomfortable with some expressions of emotions from of the Italian people in public. Yeah, I'm. I'm not telling. I'm not uh, talking about anything strange. Yeah, not. It's just the way they they talk each other and they they express uh, themselves in public. Yeah, but I know they are that way. And okay. Oh yes. I just had a reaction to when you talked about um, how children who live in the same area, like one or two hours from uh -huh. the parents, visit so often. Um, because my family, I have grandparents who live less than two hours away. Mm -hmm. And there was a time that we were going just once a month to be with them. And she couldn't keep it up. Like it was, for some of us, it was too often. Yeah. And so that's just funny to me. And I, in some ways, I wish that it was different here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in Spain, or Italy, or Portugal, sometimes it's different. It depends on the grandparents, the age. They are OK with the playing with the grandkids or not. But this is, generally speaking, they see each other a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I know with here, like if we, for example, like set up an appointment, um, and if we don't arrive like uh, 10, 15 minutes, then they'll cancel that. Um, will that be like similar to in Spain or Portugal or? An appointment? Mm -hmm. You are talking about the professional? Yeah. Uh, OK. So like if, um, if we had to cancel, it, then would that be the same? Since time is flexible. Depends on, can we close the door or not? There are some rules. OK. <laughs> no, because now, after it was OK, but now I, it's a little bit distracting for me. The, OK. Uh, appointments in the depends on the situation, right? Uh, I go to the dentist for my teeth, and she gives me uh, an appointment at 5 p.m. and I go really enter in the process at 6:30 because the way this person managed the agenda uh, means that. I know that, but I want to go with this person. And this is the way it is. Uh, one month ago, I uh, have an appointment with a, a real estate agent, someone for buying a house hmm? and we, we agreed to meet in, at the door of a building mm -hmm. for see that uh, building and in, I don't remember but 4 p.m. and at 4.10 she doesn't went, the, the doesn't be there. Uh, so I called them to the phone, mobile phone. She doesn't answer. Mm -hmm. Then I wait all the other five minutes. I go, I go out from my university. At the one time, I should be there. I can go out, but I should be there. So, um, and then five minutes later, I call again. 
and she doesn't answer. And then I call to the telephone of the office, not her private uh, work uh, mobile, but the, and then the person of the reception told me, she is going, sorry, she has another appointment that go late, no? And then I told this person, if in five minutes she's not there, I will go. I will not wait more than five minutes. And she arrived just five minutes after, <laughs> uh -huh, and I expressed my disappointment because uh, I think this is not the way. Especially, she doesn't call me and tell me, I'm going to arrive late. Hmm? Because if she told me, I can go to do another thing, or make a call and use these 20 minutes for something useful for me, yeah? And she is Spanish and I am Spanish, okay? So, depends. Uh, as a psychotherapist, um, if someone, if I have a, an appointment at five with a client, with a family, they have 10 minutes of nothing happened. Okay, I can expect they can arrive in advantage 10 minutes before or on time or whatever. But probably in 10 minutes I will call them. And if they doesn't answer, I will cancel the, the especially if it's the last in the day and I go home in 15 minutes. If they don't call me for, for telling me, I am in a traffic uh, problem. I'm trying to arrive on time, but I have this, okay? And this is the, it's okay in Spain, Italy, or, or Portugal, yeah? And even if you are a therapist with a wait list or some kind of, for some reason, you can uh, charge them for this. Uh, but this is not the way the normal way, okay? Not, it's not the, <clears throat> you can do it, but not everybody do it, okay? Mm -hmm. <coughs> Some, someone more? Right ah. So I'm from Eastern Europe, so all of these things are ah, from, okay. from growing up. And I think one of the reasons that uh, we tend to be uh, closer with our families and spend more time uh, is because of our living conditions. We don't have big houses where everybody can just go into their own room. Mm -hmm. We kind of have <coughs> tiny apartments where we have to spend more time with each other and more different generations are usually also you have grandparents and parents and kids all living together. Mm -hmm. Do you see that also plays a role in Spain, Portugal, and Italy? Is that the same part or do <coughs> people have mm. more comfortable uh, finding places to live and they just choose to be together? I think they just choose to be together because I see this in families with a very high economic level, not a problem about the house. Everything here is bigger than in Spain, everything. In fact, most of the cars you have here will not parking in Spain, <laughs> not space, not, uh, um, and the cars I see in Spain that seems bigger to me in Spain, I see there, here, and I'll together I pick up, and I see, oh, it's very, very, uh, but, uh, so, um, I think they choose, in general, hmm? because, Mm, this is very important also for you to get keep in mind. Uh, mm, when I talk about all these things, I'm talking about people in Italy, Spain, and Portugal. They are not immigrants in their own countries. The director of the Banco Santander in Santander, which is one of the 15 bigger banks in, in Europe and probably in the world, lives that way, approx, yeah? 
I, I don't know this person face to face, but this doesn't depend on the, on the income. Hmm? Uh, uh, the income change the school and how much they pay for the school or the house eh, or the kind of food. And if they go to the house of their friends in a um, little car, um, 6,000 euros, or a big cow, car, 100,000 euros. But they do the same, approx, yeah? No, doesn't depend on the cultural or economic level, yeah? Help with the grandparents. Some, some families in Madrid, for example, where both parents tend to work, it's a big city, it's common a commute of one hour for go work and come back, yeah? Then if grandparents live near, are healthy, and one of two of them are retired, probably grandparents go to pick the kids up from the school and stay with them until the parents come house, okay? But in a very high, high level uh, income family, in the best uh, area of Madrid, uh, probably this grandma goes in a car with a driver to pick up their grandchildren from the school. And when she arrives home, someone is there for helping with the food. And she is not doing the food and not going to the supermarket, but is spending the time in the afternoon with the grandkids. And the, the parents expect the grandparents wants to be and share time with the grandkids, okay? And if they don't, it's because they have a job, that it means they can't, or they have a very bad relationship, okay? Mm -hmm. I, this answered your question? Mm. From which country you can? and Russia. Okay. How many years here? Just five years now? Five years. Okay. I'm familiar with this. Okay. A big change. Yeah. Okay. We have seven minutes more US time. Uh, do you want to talk about something more? Do you have more questions? Uh, what do you prefer? I suggest you to see if you have the option, uh, this movie of the Swedish theory of love, at some point, if you want. It's in YouTube, all movie, full movie. At least this morning was in YouTube, okay? Some things may be different in the US, and uh, these countries, when I think about therapy, psychotherapy, family therapy, individual therapy, in a psychological background, okay? Mm, for example, faith in psychotherapy and therapy. In these cul cultures is lower than here. The perception of the psychotherapy as something that comes from someone that studies psychotherapy, that learns something that has a technique and not uh, um, that something that is different to talk with someone at the, at the cafeteria about uh, with, talk with some friends is uh, if you work in, in psychotherapy in these countries, you need to use some time in the first two sessions for explain why they are going to pay money for that <laughs> and uh, what kind of training you have. Of course, here also, but it's other thing. It's like they need to understand you are a professional, not a friend, and what you do is different. Mm -hmm. Or 
maybe you have this thing also here, but in some, these countries, sometimes we need to deal with this thing of the gender roles. Uh, my opinion is that in the family, not everybody needs to do everything. And if someone cooks better than the other person, hopefully the person who cooks better will cook. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's better for everybody. <laughs> OK, but the um, problem with the roles is not the roles, but the, when the roles are rigid and are not uh, have, are not in relationship with who I am and who you are and what is our personal and family situation at this moment. Of course, you cook better than me, but I'm sick and we need to cook for the children. <laughs> so of course you can cook, although you are a man. This doesn't matter. You cook very bad, but we need you to cook today. So please do your best, yeah? We need to deal sometimes with these gender roles, not all times. Hmm? In general, families with a higher cultural level deal better with this, are more flexible in general. Everything I, I share is generally speaking, OK? Uh, also important in Spain, Economic level and cultural level are related, but are not the same. Mm -hmm. We can find people with a very high income that, culturally speaking, is very in the low uh, frame. OK. Uh, other differences, for example, the space. The personal space is different in Spain, Italy, and Portugal compared with the US. Mm -hmm. How much I can become close to other person in psychotherapy and also in the social relationships in general. The personal distance there is closer. And the physical contact is very important. Mm -hmm. the, um, the way I can say hello when they arrive, uh, always in a, in a um, frame of respect and education. But I think it seems different to me. Uh, if, if I have a video camera in the, in the uh, session with 10 therapists here and 10 in Spain and Portugal, the way they say hello to their clients I think will be a little bit different. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, the appearance is important in these countries, more than here. Mm? Uh, if you want to show you are a psychotherapy, you are coming in a place where it's not like you talk with a friend, uh, the dress, the way you present yourself, I think is more important than here. Mm -hmm. Some uh, university professors that, that come to Spain to teach in a, in a congress or in a university, in general, they dress in a way that we know they are from the States not Italian, Spanish, or Portuguese. Uh, more informal than we expect in a kind of lecture. Some universities in Spain, for example, the professor should go with a suite, suite the, with the, um, uh, I don't find the word, mm -hmm. but this, this thing the, the lawyers used to go to the, Mm, what's the word? Suit Help me. A suit. Suit. S-U-I-T. Mm -hmm. OK? Suit. Yeah. Mm, this is a pole in the pendulo. But this is different and also in psychotherapy. 
Huh? And then indirect communication is very, very important in psychotherapy in Spain, Italy, and Portugal. It's almost everything about indirect communication. Although you can, of course, say something directly to your clients, but the therapy is something you need to do very, very indicted way. Suggesting, metaphors, yeah, of course. OK, uh, thank you for your time and your interest. And the, I think it, we are on time. Yeah, thank you.